We're ready to uh, reconvene for our next test. Uh, we are going to take an identical model sling, which is an EE2602, rated at 4,800 pounds in a vertical. You thought the wet look was out or the wet head was dead. What the next test will show is the effects of moisture, extreme moisture, upon nylon slings in terms of the absorption of that into the fiber and if it has any effect upon the rated capacity and corresponding brake strength of the sling. What we've done is at 115 we submerged a nylon sling into uh, just a tub of water. And as you can see it's extremely wet and dripping and it's fairly well absorbed. And now what we're going to do is to see the effect that the water absorption has on the sling itself. If you can go ahead and hook that into the one end. So we'll go ahead and hook this onto the other. Okay, we need a little more ramp. We've been getting a lot of rain here in, in the land of fruit and nuts lately, and uh, this isn't a, a test of uh, humidity because that's another question that comes up pretty commonly. What about in humid environments? We're talking about actual absorption uh, of the nylon sling, uh, absorption of the water into the nylon sling itself. Let's go ahead and uh, begin the test, see what we get. See the water coming off of it. I don't know if you can see any close up on that. Ten thousand. Ten thousand pounds. For years, what we've uh, taught and what we've learned is is that when nylon absorbs water, 15,000 15, pounds, but theoretically it loses 15% of its tensile strength. 20,000 20, pounds, and we already got some snapping at the eye juncture. 25,000 27,000 33,000 pounds, uh, that would pretty well hold true to form then, that uh, with a break of 37,000 pounds in dry state, we obtained a uh, 33,000 pound break in a wet state, and you can see that uh, that sling just exploded, and pretty well confirms now that we've got a loss of tensile strength as a result, and it's a direct function of uh, absorption of the water into the nylon material itself. And you can see this sling totally blew out and uh, destroyed. And perhaps you saw a lot of the uh, mist and vapor from the uh, water coming out as it did that. We'll go ahead and uh, set up for our next test.